Lights are lit up all across St. Vincent for a film festival that is making history. One Caribbean News, Melissa Knoll, takes us there. All eyes were fixated on the screen at Calioqua Playing Field. There were two short films and one feature film for the evening, and everyone there was a part of history. It was the opening night of the Hiruna Film Festival, the first ever film festival in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. More than 20 films from countries including St. Vincent, Trinidad, and Barbados will be featured during the week-long festival. It's really refreshing to see because up until two days ago, I really didn't know there was a film festival. I'm really happy to see that there are so many creators like expressing themselves. So it's really inspiring as well. With the budding regional film industry in the Caribbean, Festival director Aiko Rudet says the Hiruna Film Fest is a way to ensure that St. Vincent is a part of that growth. You know, a lot of things will come out of that energy. You know, um, we'll be able to, like, build proper crews. We'll be able to put film education in place. We'll be able to source funds to get things made. You know, a lot of that, that will come from that energy. But first of all, it has to come with us making the decision to support one another. All film screenings are free and take place outdoors at various public spaces. This pop-up cinema style was intentional. It's a way to ensure that the festival is accessible to all Vincentians. Some festival highlights include the opportunity for audience members to interact with filmmakers and a night exclusively dedicated to highlighting the work of Vincentian filmmakers. The Hiruna Film Fest runs through March 30th. And it's just the start of an effort to create a sustainable film sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Beyond its official dates, organizers say an ongoing screening series will be created in order to provide a larger platform for Caribbean films and filmmakers on the island year-round. For One Caribbean TV, I'm Melissa Noel.